Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be tying up some loose ends along with making our way to the Forbidden Lands. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen and I did absolutely nothing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is sit at this grace. We're going to talk to Melina. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. Okay, we're gonna come over here and roll into this behind the chest. It's gonna open up a secret pathway. Let's pull our bow out. It's gonna make things a little easier for us. And then right here, this guy, we want him to break this tent for us and he's gotta use his frenzied attack so let's get his attention we want him to use that attack on us he needs to get a little closer can go ahead and pick up the nomadic merchant set along with a grace mimic right here we have another guy Pick up some Eye of Yol. And then walk down this plank. We'll come up here. We want to position ourselves about right here and hop down. Get ourselves the Frenzied Cookbook 2. Grab some hefty bone. And then right here, next to this merchant, we want to inch our way off. Land on this coffin here. And then right here, we want to roll off. Land on another coffin. And then we just want to walk off for this one. I know it looks like we're not gonna make it, but you will, I promise. And then right here, we're going to walk off again. Do not roll with those. Get a frenzied incantation. And then right over here, have another merchant. Get his attention. We don't want to kill him. We want him to use his frenzied attack. Come on, bud. They're a little slow, so just got to be patient. This one's not really that important. It's just a note, 
about Mikla's needle. We're going to hop down right here. We're going to go to this grace. We're going to sit at it. We're going to talk to Melina again. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called Lord when the land they preside over is lifeless. Right here we see a familiar face. This is Hayeta. <sighs> so you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. So if you come over here and go up to that door wearing no clothes, you can start the frenzied flame ending. But if you roll into this, it's an illusory wall. We can go ahead and pick ourselves up a rune arc because we don't have enough of them. Then we can hop down right here, get ourselves a grace. Activate that summoning pool. And then we're going to hop on Torrent for just a second. Hop over here. Hop off Torrent. And then hop down. We have made it to the deep root depths once again. Just in an alternate route we could have taken to get here. I'm gonna go up this route. Makes me nervous. Sorry if I'm going slow. Then we're gonna hop down to this route here. Jump to this. This area always makes my palms sweaty. Grab ourselves a smithing six. And then we can come down right here. And then right here. Pretty sure I didn't miss an item over there. No, I did not. It's over here where I really get tense because there's a lot of roots and you got to kind of jump back and forth through them and it's just a mess. I like to use my bow on these ants if I can. And then we want to go back up this route. This is the part that I'm talking about is really nerve wracking. I'm going to hop down right here. And then right over here. 
We're going to hop down on this route. And then down onto this route. And then down here. Grab ourselves a golden rune 8. And then we're going to jump across. And then right here, the camera always messes me up and I almost fall off almost every single time. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. We're going to hop over here. Pop off Torrent. Grab another Golden Rune 8. And then we're going to come down to this route here. Fall off. And we're almost done with this area. You can go down there and fight those ants if you want. I'm just using a bow because it's easier. And then we can hop down. Grab ourselves a golden rune five and then we can go to our map and we're going to go to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. So if we come where the dung eater is, there's a message it says, I'll defile you next. Come to the outer moat. So the outer moat that he's talking about is way up here in the Altus Plateau. We're going to fast travel to this side tomb. Sorry, I can't pronounce the name of this side tomb. I apologize. But what we're going to do is we're going to hug the tree line here. Come down to this pathway. And we're going to go talk to Blackguard. But before we do that, we're going to take care of a big crab. That way we don't have to fight the dung eater and a big crab at the same time. It's not really that fun. There it is. Go ahead and grab that item. And then we'll talk to Blackguard. All right, mate. Want some more crap, do you? Yeah. And now I've seen it here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. It was... It was him. No question. That monster. He's lurking round here. this thing. I hate these dragonflies. I mean, they're good for crafting, but man, are they obnoxious. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of the game and then come back in. That way we can progress Blackguard and the Dung Eater's quest line. I'll see everybody in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Blackguard. He's not looking too good. <laughs> Serves me right. Fitting bloody end. For a jumped up little shit. With big ideas. Help me out. Would you, mate? I don't want to get cursed. 
just let me die. <laughs> I don't want to live like this. Not anymore. So, please. <laughs> He's gonna die and we can pick up a seedbed curse, his bell bearing, the iron ball, and his iron mask. But now the Dung Eater is going to invade us. It's really not a hard fight. I will kill you and defile your corpse. Then the Pox will truly be your own. So for killing him, we get the Sword of Milos. Let's go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. You can see that the dung eater is back in his spot. Let's go ahead and talk to him. There you are. You warded off my blessing, despite the curse stirring within you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse again and again until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces and may one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed and countless I have defiled and soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile and bless in my stead. The rotten fools. My fate was the grandest, most brilliant of them all. Let's go ahead and zoom out. We're going to go to Liernia. We're going to go over to the four belfries. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to finish up this over here. Let's hop on Torrent real fast. Go ahead and use that and go through the portal. Now we're in Nakron, the Eternal City. Just a little secret area to grab a couple of items. Fall off right here. Hop on this pillar, and then hop on the pillar down here. Now there is a crucible knight over there. You can fight them if you want, but I'm not going to. The crucible knight doesn't drop anything, so just kind of if you want to fight him or not. Let's go ahead and go back over to the four belfries. We 
We're going to go over to the last portal. This is Crumbling Ferramazula. We'll be going here pretty soon, actually. You just got to get through the mountaintops of the giants, and then we'll be coming over here. Pretty cool looking. Going to jump over here. And then we're going to jump over here. Let's go ahead and buff our blade. Drink our flask and then hop down. You want to fight this one first. He's way stronger than the one that throws things at you. This one is just a pansy and runs away a lot. Okay, after killing them, you want to come over here. We're gonna jump down right here and get ourselves the Pale Drake Talisman. We could have come here a long time ago with these four Belfries. I just didn't see a real reason to it earlier. It's not like we're getting anything real special. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come all the way over to the East Capitol Rampart. Go ahead and talk to Bach. Bach the seamster, at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. My lord, did you see it? The, the Erd tree. I, oh, I, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so, so dazzled. I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, my lord. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, please, take the throne of Elden Lord. Going all right, please. We're gonna come down here. Go down this elevator. Take the stairs up and then veer off to the left. We're going to be going through these double doors. Take out the dogs. Careful, there's one right over here too. Then there's a misbegotten with wings and two dogs. Pick up some Mikola's Lily if you want. I would take out the big dog first and then worry about the bigger enemy. Get ourselves some perfume bottles or a perfume bottle.
Gonna go ahead and backtrack now and go up the stairs. We're gonna veer off to the left. Careful of the enemy hiding. Then we have one of the big axe guys. Got some misbegotten sleeping in the bushes. Got some misbegotten sleeping in the bushes. Then right over here, have another big guy. Grab ourselves a somber smithing stone six. Go ahead and summon in our mimic tier. You also have two perfumers, be very careful. He'll disappear and grab a couple of items here. Then we can kill these other misbegottens for some free runes. Why not, right? We're going to come over here to this elevator and take it on up. Grab ourselves the Flame Drake Talisman. And then you see the knight on the horse. Just to the left is a knight with a great bow. So take him out first. And then worry about the guy on the horse. Going to have a silver scarab off to the left. Go ahead and hit that a couple of times. And then it's going to turn into a really big silver scarab. Get a somber smithing stone six. And then just keep moving forward. We're not going to take that elevator down just yet. We're actually going to veer off to the right. We're about to fight a boss. Actually two at the same time. So what I like to do is make sure that my mimic is out and ready.
Grab the Golden Rune 9. Summon in your Mimic. Buff your weapon. The Fell Twins are not hard. We just got done beating a ton of the Fell Omens. Or cursed Omens, whatever you want to call them. For killing them, you get the Omen Killer Rollo. Let's go ahead and light this grace. Go up to the top. Just like that grace real quick and then we're going to grab this great rune. This will be Morgoth's great rune. Now we can go down to the Divine Tower of East Altus Gate. Now let's backtrack down this path. It's a very, very long path. Sad we're not allowed to use torrent right here. Totally missed that guy. Okay, now we're going to go down the elevator. But before we step on the switch, we want to face this way. And more kind of like an angle. Because we're going to be jumping off here in just a moment. If you miss the jump, you can always take the elevator back up and jump over here. Grab the Blade of Calling. And then we can fall down right here. We won't take any fall damage. And then before we light the grace, we're going to come over here and activate a summoning pool. Then we're going to light the grace. And then right over here is an item we can scoop up. Nothing crazy, it's just some... Drawstring fire grease. And then right here, 
is where we're going to end the video. And I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.